we need to redefine our passenger rail services as an essential part of integrated cities, the cities that we are building today, the cities of tomorrow, where people are able to live in cohesive communities close to where they work and also close to the amenities, places where they want to go to, to relax, to have fun, and cities where people are able to move around with great ease, to welcome, to be comfortable in all parts of the urban space. I work as an electrical fitter, I'm a qualified electrician, I work at a motor where we fit windows, we fit under frame pipes, we fit uh, cables in the roof and all the electrical uh, components on the roof of the train. This day means so much to, to, to me and I think to every person in South Africa alive in this day because it's a day in history where we are launching this company officially and everyone is excited about making history, building trains for the first time, especially our generation. We are opening our very first plant where we'll have an opportunity to manufacture our own trains. And in fact, these first two trains that we'll be rolling out even now in November are built by South African hands. Men and women, in fact, young men and women from in and around the region. One thing we boast about our trains is safety and reliability. The trains have so many um, safety features on them that um, can guarantee to, a, to an extent the safety of the little person in South Africa who needs to use public transport um, to commute from home to work or to school. These new trains are not going to be an automatic solution to our passenger uh, problems in the region. They are a long-term solution and it, their role is to create an overhaul of public trains. But this is going to be over the next 15 to 20 years. These trains, I mean, the technology, it's good, the speed, and it's very comfortable. And I think South Africans will really appreciate the effort and the um, technology that is in these trains. <laughs>